Welcome guys to the start of a new Let's Play as Trails season gets truly underway with a Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel just dropping for the PS4 as a remaster coming from its original humble Vita offerings if I'm correct and now leading on to basically what is a year of releases for Trails of Cold Steel because there's going to be not just this one but Trails of Cold Steel 2 and 3 out this year. So with that and of course Trails of Sky Let's Play going on at the same time we've got a lot to do got a lot to do. Of course I haven't played through all the previous Trails games at the moment. At this point in time I'm right at the end of first chapter, Trails in the Sky. So I don't... the super knowledgeable guy about the series, but very much enjoying it thus far. This is of course a first blind playthrough where hopefully I won't miss missables. I think I've done quite well in the past, so we'll see how we can go. And if there's books within it, I'll probably refer to some people to help me just at least find the books, because we like reading ourselves a story in time, but with now a story shifting over to Elebonia from Labelle and from everywhere in the past, because we're a few years in the future now, we start off a new game. Let you hear Trails of Cold Steel. Let's get in the way. Should we play it normal, built around satisfyingly tough combat? That, that sounds that sounds the right level for me. Ain't it people used to playing RPGs? Oh yeah. They know how to word it to make me feel good about choosing normal as an option. Let's start the game. Septian calendar, 1204. 31st of August? What's going on? Eastern edge of the Erebonian Empire. Garidia Fortress, military training ground. Sounds like they're really training though. gunpowder? They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't! How low can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Reem's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. We're not about to let those terrorists have their way. Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right. Reen, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. One group will secure the gun in the right wing. The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir. All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Understood! And so the game begins with some controls, and I must say, blonde hair shoulder, do you ever change your voice? Voice accent? <laughs> Liquid Snake, Klatos Orion, Zingrandia 2. So recognizable. Right then, we've got Cam Clark, that's the one. 
got switch leader, zoom in, zoom out, move character, hold, circle to walk. Oh, we got a walk command. Okay, open notebook is on the main thing here, rotating the camera again as usual. So I'm guessing it's more or less the same as Trails in the Sky for the most part. Open cap menu is triangle, open quick travel menu is quick travel. Talk to spec field attack. Field attack? Say your progress using the system option in the cap menu. Press triangle button over the cap menu. Okay. Ooh, my field attacks do I? Well, I can't go back out there. We don't have time to backtrack. We need to hurry to the right wing's railway gun. Sorry, I'm just looking. And turbo mode is not a hold to do anymore. It's a clicking on. There's a rest point. Okay. Let's see our guys who are level 49. So this must take place late in the game or at the end of the game. We've got ourselves a random party. See how this works out. I'm trying to press X to open the door, but walking towards it is fine enough. Here they come. <gasps> they look just like that thing we fought during our field study. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. Got it. Very well, I will serve as your opponent. Go! And so frustrating to battle. With more or less the same system as we're used to in some sense. Arts separate between support and attack. So down the flow time for targeting enemies. I mean, we already have 100 CP, so we could technically use an S craft straight away and just try to nuke everyone down. Alright, let's do this! Right. I'll handle this. Let's go for straight for fuck's sake. Make sure everyone's ready to go. I mean, we could just destroy everyone, surely. Plasma Storm requires 110 CP. All oh, faint. 100%. Class SSS plus. Race across the battlefield, dominating foes. I do wonder if I want to use that here. <laughs> but why not? Good work, that's one way to do it. Your attack is ridiculous. Well, I guess you're their instructor, so I was expecting you to be somewhat strong. No doubt about it. Those things were the same as the one we fought outside the ground. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw too. It seems so. So these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group. And a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. Understood. Right. Robots, eh? Archaisms. Well, let's move forward. With our weird floaty robotic walk. How do I- what? Attacking them doesn't do anything but stun them in the face? Well, I got a critical coming up. Very well. I may as well just finish off the one we were fighting. It's my turn. Normal attacks will do for monsters like this, yeah? There! Okay. Is that a quick time? When an attack misses, the target will counterattack if the attacker is in range. Okay. Time is precious. We should hurry. We had Link attacked. We had a counter attack when they missed. Nice, nice fighting there, sir. Okay. There's definitely new elements. Well, this is what I've encountered in Trails of the Sky. Here they come. Failed to get that attack on then. I'll handle this. All right, one bigger guy. What about crafts wise? What do I have? Treasure sword. Here, seals foam and ice and shatters it. Unbalance plus 20% unbalance. Support area, XL self. Raises the morale of allies with inspiring shout. Strength, ATS speed plus 25% is really good too. Cuts enemies in half with a magical slash. Impede with delay too. 
Some of these guys have some ridiculous stuff. Attacks enemies with golden magic orbs too. Dark matter. EP 100? Cross crusade. A cross shaped void bathes all in holy light. Some of these sound insane. Well, we should take them from the small fry That's first, good. shouldn't we? She's got some go. kind of court song with some kind of effect, but All right. not really for me to see at the moment. Take out small fry. There. Can I change the camera angles in battle? You're mine. Oh, this guy's a dodge master. Very well. Oh, I can. I can change it around the player. My turn. I don't mind the EP heal. That's fine. Seems like they can attack round and circle a bit more than I thought. Now's a chance. And one for me. It's my turn. There. So when they cause the Leave opponent to, to kind of recall yeah. in a way, they get this link strike thing. Okay. Not bad. This game does look very nice. But we are thrown in the deep end a little bit. We're not really taught about how the game plays, but we're more or less just thrust into how the game plays. <laughs> Is there a point in time where I can get an advantage on them if I slash them? Leave it to me. I mean, everyone's getting to attack first on this one, so that might look like some kind of weird advantage strike. My turn. Leave it to me. All right, try attacker HG. Let's go after you. We've got people linked up by things on the ground too. So that obviously means something on top of that. Too soft. Everyone's getting the counter at this Go. point. I'll handle this. And the battles are so much faster. I shall fulfill my duty as a noble. Alright, is that everywhere to go? It looks like for the most part, and a heal point right here. Alright, we've very much fumbled through to an outside area, but with a heal point behind <laughs> beside it, I'm expecting to see some. This is the crossbell side. What is going on here? Where are we? This must be Gorelia Canyon. You can see Crossbell State on the other side. There! Those are... The railway guns. They're enormous. Damn. How did they manage to get them prepped so fast? Don't tell me they're just gonna let them rip without even setting a target. Instructor! Well, they're certainly not shy about bringing out the big guns. Ugh, we don't have time for this. We need to take these things out fast. Right there with you. Let's send these greetings to the scrap heap. You messed with the wrong teacher. My turn. This is the event that will start a war, isn't it? This is not good whatsoever. All right, what do I use to help bring these guys down fast? Area large attacks, just going with normal attacks. I mean, buffs would be pretty good at this point in time. I'm assuming I can't even see the HP on them. How do we get to see that? The fourth day, earlier M. Temporally grants fires blessing to raise attack on everyone. Recuria cures abnormal status except KO, area extra large. Can I hit everyone from here? Here goes. It doesn't look like I will. <laughs> Let's buff up these guys. Can I get this. some debuffs on our enemies, maybe? You got four day as well. ADF minus 50% cuts enemies in half from Magical Slash, so that's 
spell defense down, seal three, so it's nice and shatters it and balance 20, rune blade two. I mean, lots of this stuff is pretty good. Now is our chance. Don't let it pass. Right, right. right. Speed up on top of that. Here we go. Let's just go in for an attack, see how much damage we do. Not much. Leave it to me. Okay, 10 million grants of protection, raising defense. Interesting amount of stuff we've got here. Spells that I've never seen before. Any chance we can lower his defense or something like that? That would be nice. Launches a blast of wind forwards, cannon balance. Well, that guy's going to be our target for the time being. Leave it to me. Except there seems to be some kind of big spell attack coming in over there. Do we have impede on someone here? At least I can get out of it. There's an impede. There. Very well. So we'll cancel the spell attack, but now we're just making damage go on several guys instead, which isn't really what we want. We want to focus on one target. Go. Here. Okay. I wonder if arts would be better for baiting these guys out. Oh, we can view specifics now, so we can see that he's weak to earth. We could use that maybe a little bit. Depends if any of us have got earth type crafts, to be fair. I mean, arts even. Doesn't seem to be the case. All right. All right. So what are you casting now, sir? Nothing to impede there. I wonder if unbalance works for that. Ah, okay. Grand press creates a localized earthquake below enemies. Marcus, activate. My turn. That's a nerf attack. All right, let's use yet another autumn leaf cutter. There. Play it safe. Make Take sure this. to impede. At this point in time, we're going between multiple My people. Turn. Move down isn't exactly that great for me, though. I must admit. Should I just try to uh, nuke them down? Well, that My definitely turn. helped. Let's finish off one of them, shall we? Imprisons all foes in a barrier. Can't get them, sadly. <laughs> You're in the shoe. Crystal Saber. Oh, well, while that goes off, I've got options to. Well, that did no damage. Flames. On my Let's just send everyone out to break these guys. That was more useful by far. I feel like we're on a crazy art showcase rather than the start of the game. There we go. Time is precious. We should hurry. Good job. That's how we finish it up. A self-destruct mechanism. Is there cowardice no no bounds? We're running out of time. I'm gonna go on ahead. Follow me as soon as you're sure it's safe to. Guns. 
No, no, no! No. Don't! So Neon Falcon presents A Tale of the Erebonian Empire. As truly it starts, Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. That's the exact day I'm filming this on! <laughs> Five months earlier. On the outskirts of the capital Heimdalla in central Erebonia. 400 Selk west of Tulista. Hey, it knows when I'm streaming. <laughs> You see, it's March 31st. Interesting. We're better hard via Seldic. Take the train. Nice, uh, bit on the front there. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This train is bound for Bereahard via Keldic. Said that name wrong, didn't I? The next stop is Trista. Trista. We will be stopped at Trista for one minute. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are left behind. Almost there. Man. Spring's really in full bloom here, huh? Back home, there was still so much snow on the ground, I hardly even realized it.
Wow. Are those Lino flowers? I've never seen so many all blossoming at once. I'll be spending the next two years here. Wonder how long it'll be before I think of it as home. But yeah, I think I'm going to like it. Uh -huh. Ouch! Whoa, sorry about that. Are you okay? I should have picked a better place to take in the scenery. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I should have been paying more attention to where I was going instead of gawking at the flowers. It's really a pretty town though, isn't it? Just like a postcard. Yeah, I guess that's the magic of springtime for you. I hope everything in your case is okay. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll be fine. Hey, you've got the red uniform too, huh? Yeah, but now that you mention it, almost everyone else on the train had a green jacket. You're one of the few I've seen in red. I didn't really think about it until now. I just put on the uniform they sent me. I hadn't given it much thought until I got here either. But yeah, like you said, there have been a few others sporting them too, so I doubt it's a mistake. Maybe it means we'll end up being classmates. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. I've got a feeling we'll see each other again at the entrance ceremony, though. I totally forgot to ask her name. Oh well, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. She's right, though. It is weird that there are so few of us in red. Are there even enough to make a class? That ornament they sent with the uniform is pretty strange, too. It sure looks a lot fancier than your standard issue ornament, that's for sure. Eh, guess there's no point in racking my brain over it. Someone will probably explain it during orientation. Thor's military academy is on the north side of town. I've still got some time to look around before the entrance ceremony, but it'd be pretty awkward to be late the first day. And so we begin the prologue, the way to fours. Hey, be fashionably late, have a little bit of look around. That's the point of these games, right? You can now view the summary tab in your notebook. Events that occurred during the story are automatically recorded in this section. You can access both by pressing the touchpad button or by choosing the notes section in the camp menu, then flipping through the various tabs. You can also confirm your current objective by pressing the square button to access the navigation screen. Yes, a current objective button. <laughs> that hasn't been a problem for me in the past. You can confirm your current story objective by pressing the square button. No more wandering around Gransel. Head to Fours Military Academy. Well, very to the point, and we've got a whole town to explore. People with names in beautiful... 3D. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh. Right, well let's start looking around, eh? Oh, are you one of the new four students? My dad runs the store. He's got all sorts of things you might need for your studies. I hope you'll come visit us if you ever need anything. Seems like he's raised a capable little worker. <laughs> Do you sell, uh, books? So I'll still get everything ready for business. I hope you'll come back once we're all set up, though. Oh. I need, like, the news. Maybe the Erebonia news, this one? Curious Cafe and Inn. This cafe looks pretty nice. Seems like the perfect place to come and unwind after a long day of classes. I talked to you, lady. I'm sorry, we're not quite ready to open for the day. <laughs> Please just stop by later, though. This cafe's pretty popular with four students, if I do say so myself. Minimap 2. Spring's lovely here in Trista. The combination of the blooming linear flowers and soothing sunlight is very pleasant. On top of that, it represents new beginnings. I hope you enjoy your time in the academy. The lovely shop you've got going there. So we've got the Boutique Le Sage. This must be the boutique. They've got quite the collection, it's all stylish. Maybe I need to update my wardrobe. 
Sure. Navi, it looked perfect on you. So many places to check out, but it seems like now's not really the time, is it? This looks like a pawn shop. Doesn't seem to be open right now, though. Interesting. What's the name of it? Mitch. Mitch's pawn shop. Mitch. Okay. That's Kane's bookstore. Aha! I guess it's the town's bookstore. Some of these books seem like they'd be handy for studying. Well, that's the interesting thing. So that's Four's Military Academy. It's right in front of me, but the idea of attending such a prestigious school still feels like a dream. Just thinking about it is getting me all nervous again. Time to relive my school life then, eh? I'm playing my brother today! Because he doesn't have any friends! <laughs> Your sister doesn't help you. I'm a little jealous that you're a four student. I'd like to start attending high school as soon as possible too. Playing along with the other children at Sunday school has gotten too boring for me. Oh, you're one of those. The other kids, they're too basic. Maybe I should go to the entrance ceremony instead of barging the strangers' homes. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. God. I just want to introduce myself. I'm going to be living here for two years. Come on, Kay. You know there's more to school than just studying. Your dad's told you that over and over. Studying's a pain, but I'm sure there's enough fun stuff to make up for it. <laughs> Cheers for the cheer there, Raz. Always pushing an agenda. You've got to study, like, all the time in that fantasy school here at, don't you? Man, why would anyone want to go there? I don't know. We'll find out, though. I shall take my leave here, milady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Thank you, Klaus. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. Understood, milady. Oh, please excuse my rudeness, young sir. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Oh. Thank you very much. I'm guessing he's a butler? He certainly looks the part. That means the girl with him must have been a noble. She did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military family or something. Well, she can't be that good. She doesn't even know where the handle is on that box. I'm sort of looking at her, taking from the top. Then the hand handle's pointed right towards you. The butler's made this really nice and easy. Well, this is the first dormitory of Forbes Military Academy over here. Lena Flowers is so pretty. They serve as such a perfect compliment to the entrance ceremony. I'll be looking forward to seeing this year's batch of upper class students. Can I go in? Of course I can. Seems like this is one of the Academy's dorms. I think it's a bit too early to be wandering inside though. Oh, come on, this is the next two years of my life. Don't you want to check things out? I do wonder if there's any other events that if I just wander around, maybe I'll bump into more people. The second dorm is over here. Yo, new kid! You're in the wrong spot. Hi, how would you end up here? It's a straight shot to the academy. You better get your ass in gear. You don't want to be late on your first day, do you? Y yeah, thanks. I think he's trying to be friendly. Okay, I get it, game. You never know. There might be a hidden quest somewhere, though. So this is it. Thor's Military Academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Thank you for your patience, sir. We've arrived at the Academy. Much obliged.
please, if you'll allow me to take your luggage. That won't be necessary. I'd prefer to avoid standing out too much. Uh, but, sir... This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Bereahard. As you wish. I shall be departing then, sir. May your time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Please take care of yourself. Limousine, and one of Reinford's fanciest models, too. Looks like even Erebonia's upper crust send their children here. Well, seems that we're in lots of the uh, noble and the posh kids come here, eh? What does that make me? Welcome to Thor's Military Academy. You're... let's see... Yes, you're the last of them. That'd make you... Rain Schwarzer, right? Uh, yes, that's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. But how do you know me? <laughs> it's a long story. Don't sweat the details right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I'll need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. It mentioned something about that in the guidebook. Rain handed his bag to the boy. Thanks. We should be able to return it to you before long. You'll hardly even miss it. The entrance ceremony is going to be held in the auditorium. Just head straight back. You can't miss it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your first day at Thor's. I'm glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. I guess those two must be second years? That girl definitely looked younger than me, though. What was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to check in, am I? Sounds like it's about time for the ceremony to start, though. Well, here's to the start of a great two years. Now, if I may, I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history. Thor's Military Academy was founded almost 220 years ago. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other than the great Emperor Dreykels. The very same Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. To prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Dreykel's famous mandate. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain of the young. Yet still the question remains, what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. The foundation of the world, huh? <laughs> no pressure, right? No kidding. Though, this is Dreykel's the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy road. 
Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? <laughs> I guess we do. I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. Most of the other students are wearing green. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something wrong? Nah, just thinking to myself. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed! The class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mine, either. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right! Students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking. That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. What? Did you mean an orientation exercise? Hmm. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Now, right this way, if you would. Um... Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. <sighs> what do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should go with her. Hmm? this place. Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. <laughs> what does she even want us to do here? Uh, is she ever going to tell us what's going on? I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. This place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. I think this is everyone I've seen with a red uniform so far. I guess we really are part of the same class then. So, these are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Oh, you know one of them? Er, wait, no, no, not these ones too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? <laughs> did did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting, you two. 
Well, look who finally made it. Nice work. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? Yep. They're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. <laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? The name's Sarah Valestine. I'm the instructor in charge of Class 7, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, Class 7? Uh, us? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy, and that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. Wh what do you... We now have a sixth class. Fittingly titled, Class Seven. And in Class Seven, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. Wait, you just jumped straight from five to seven? Y you're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, uh, um, who are you again? Machias Regnitz. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this. Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Is it just get along? <laughs> And how would you propose we do that? <laughs> and what's your problem? Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. Is that so? It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. Please, my lord. Do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Eusis Alborea. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. He's from one of the four great houses. The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. Interesting. I'd heard the rumors. <sighs> do, do you expect me to be impressed? Your family lineage means nothing to me. I'll never bend my knee to the likes of... Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it from me to keep you from our fun little icebreaker. <sighs> you mentioned this orienteering exercise earlier. What exactly does that involve? 
It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? <sighs> Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? But I don't want to spoil the fun, so let's get started, shall we? What? <gasps> oh, crap. What? No cheating. You're going with them and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? Ugh, lame. Oh, what just happened? The floor gave out from under us. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school grounds then? What does that woman think she's playing at? <sighs> <sighs> I thought my heart was gonna jump out of my chest. Hey, Reen, are you... Okay... Easy now. Hands where she can see them. Ah, oh, what happened? Huh? <laughs> um, well, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Still, I'm just glad you're okay. That's what's really important here, right? Ah! Wow, it's just not your day, is it? Well, now that I've hit the bottom, things can only improve. I hope. What is this place anyway? I was wondering the same thing. We should check out those tables. What? Is this? It's coming from the devices we received with the Academy Guidebook. Seems to be some sort of portable orbment. Right you are. These handy little devices are a special kind of battle orbment. Is that? Miss Valestein? So, these devices have built-in communications functionality, then? W wait Don't tell me these things are... New model battle orbments made through a partnership between the Epstein Foundation and Reinford Company. Newly made fifth-generation battle orbments, in fact. They're called Arcus units. Arcus. So these are battle orbments. That means they'll allow us to use arts, right? Sure will. Just set a quartz into one of its slots, and you can use arts all the live long day. Which is why I've prepared enough quartz for each and every one of you. The weapons you brought are all here too. Each packaged neatly along a little box containing a quartz. Find yours and try setting the quartz into your Arcus. Hmm. I suppose it can't hurt to try. Uh, what is this woman thinking?
Let's see. Mine is... that one. Oh, I see mine over there. Let me just go grab it, okay? Well, let's go get my augment, which they make sure that everyone's standing in front of it so you know exactly which one's yours. We made our first friend, Elliot Craig. Who, of course, it's not pronounced like that. It's pronounced the American-Canadian way, isn't it? So obviously he's Canadian, right? Craig? Craig? That's Craig. I grew up with a Craig. God. What happens if we talk to them? I know this is the military academy, but I didn't think they'd throw us into battles quite this quickly. She even told us to get our courts all set up, too. What in the world is she planning on throwing us into? Good. My blade seems undamaged. I'm not particularly adept with the orbital arts, but it may be best to have some prepared regardless. So the, all these people have trained with weapons, but not necessarily of arts. Ooh. I gotta say, your case looks interesting compared to everyone else's. What a pain. <laughs> sure. I don't have much experience with battle orbits myself. I'll do as we were instructed now, though. Everyone else has got kind of like stereotypical swords, or we know he's got a spear, swords, etc. Hi, let's talk after our incident. Um, hey, about before. Ah, the future's looking bleak. Indeed it is. Do you know what? I haven't made a save yet, have I? Probably a good idea to do that. I'll save that. We've got our status up now with crafts in there. We are level 3 at this point in time. Such foes will dash by them for impede with delay on it. Well, let's pick up my weapon and find out what courts I'm getting. Obtain a force courts. Thank you for the follow there, Monkfish. Welcome. What's this? That's called a Master Quartz. If you set that into the large slot in the center of your Arcus, you'll be able to use arts. Go on, give it a try. Master Quartz, eh? Performance, a general term for mechanical devices that extract orbital energy from septium and use it to generate magical effects and enhancements. We've of course met orbments before. Battle Orbent Arcus, a personal use device that can harness orbital energy in a variety of ways depending on the quartz set in it. Since they are tailor-made for their users, the orbment's internal structures varies from one unit to another. And quartz, the crystal circuit, a circuit made from septium fragments called sepith, set in a battle orbments to harness a variety of powers and properties. I wonder how our one's built. Master Quartz, a special kind of quartz which can be set into the center of the new Arcus Battle Orbments. These quartz are stronger and more adaptable than regular quartz, and by fighting battles with one set in your orbit, it will level up and gain new abilities as well. Master Quartz Growth Example, Force. Gain 5 CP for every enemy killed it starts off with, but level 3, gain 15 CP for every enemy killed. That's really nice. Gain 50 CP when reduced to critical HP once per battle, and stat increases, and art increases from leveling him up too. So yet another leveling system. So the Master Corps into lanes, Arcus. Courts can be set in the Orbit section of the camp menu. I should probably pick up my weapon as well. Oh, nothing else is open. What am I looking at? Ah, oh, okay. Even sorts it into the lines themselves. So that's interesting. That one has to have a red one set. And that one is open if I find another quartz in the future. And we got a tiny line there. That'd be good for an information quartz or something like that. Alright, four. So it's literally just going to give me 300 extra HP, 20 EP, 25 extra strength right off the bat. That's pretty nice. And I'm guessing the red bits are possibly what we can grow it into. Of course, there's free arts by look of it too. So there's a lot of abilities for it. Fire Elemental. Unfortunately, I don't have anything else to put in there. But, yeah, 300 HP leaves me feeling unhealthy. <sighs> what? what in the world? That light means that you've successfully synchronized with your Arcus. Congratulations! Now you can use arts as much as you want. These Arcus units have plenty more nifty features. But I wouldn't want to bombard you with too much info all at once. So we'll cover those another time. Anyway, since you've got your Arcus all set up and ready to go, here's what I want you to do. When you step through that door, you'll be in an underground testing area. Basically, 
It's a dungeon. It's pretty large and full of twists and turns. I'd almost guarantee you'll get lost at least once. But when you find the exit, you'll be able to return to the first floor of this old schoolhouse. There are monsters wandering around, though, so don't let your guard down, even for a moment. With all that said, let's commence our special orienteering exercise. Your objective is to make your way through this area and back to the surface. Make it back in one piece, and I'll be happy to field any complaints you might have. If you make it back safely, I might even give you a kiss. Free of charge. On the cheek, of course. Um, I don't think she's joking. <laughs> and just where do you think you're going? Were you planning to wander off on your own without saying anything? I have no interest in becoming friends with anyone here. And I'm surprised that you, of all people, give a damn what I do. Unless you've suddenly decided you do want to keep company with one of those stuck-up hedonists, after all. Still, if you're afraid of the monsters, I suppose I could accompany you. After all, what kind of Erebonian noble would I be if I didn't have at least some degree of prowess with a sword? And noblesse oblige dictates that it's my sacred duty to protect powerless commoners such as yourself. What, what the hell? Nobody's asking your High Excellency to deign to help us! If that's how you're gonna be, I'll just find my way out of here before you! I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without some relic of an outdated class that's still dragging me down! The only thing we can do. We should begin exploring these ruins ourselves. I believe it would be prudent to remain in small groups, however. Would the two of you have any objections to accompanying me? Oh, no, that's fine. It would be a huge help, actually. And you're welcome to join us as... Well... I suppose that's a no. Perhaps we'll run into her along the way, and she can join us then. So, shall we be off? I'm certain you gentlemen will be fine, but do take care. Okay. If you'll excuse us, please. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> Not nah, such a hot first impression there, huh? You can say that again. I'll have to clear things up with her later. Anyway, how do you guys want to do this? Should the three of us stick together too? Sounds good to me. I'd get pretty anxious wandering around a place like this alone. No objections here. I'd be happy to accompany you. I don't believe I've introduced myself yet. My name is Gaius Warzel. I just arrived in the Empire, so any help you can offer would be much appreciated. Oh, so you're from abroad. I'd been wondering. My name's Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elliot Craig. So, you fight with that? Of course. Why else would I be carrying it? It's a spear, but it has that odd cross-shaped head. It looks kind of... awesome. Think of it as combining the best parts of a spear and a poleaxe. I was pretty handy with it back home. But speaking of weapons, I have to say, yours looks pretty unique. Oh, this thing. Is it... a staff? Wait, no. It's an orbment, isn't it? Both, actually. It's an orbal staff. The tech is pretty recent. This one's still a prototype, more or less. Back during enrollments, they told me I had some aptitude for it, so when it came time to choose, I just sort of ran with it. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. 
Can't say I have either. They're still in development, apparently, so there aren't too many around just yet. But that said, I'm curious about what you've got there, Reen. Oh, my sword? Yeah, but what kind of sword is it? It's different from the kinds of swords I thought the people in the Empire used, though. It's an Eastern style of saber called Itachi. Any way you slice it, though, it's basically a longsword. Wow, that's one beautiful blade. The craftsmanship looks exceptional. They're renowned for the layering of their steel and the sharpness of their edge. Truth be told, though, I'm still a little hesitant to be swinging around something this dangerous. Seriously? If that's what hesitant looks like, I'll bet confidence will make you unstoppable. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Speaking of which, I think we've been standing around long enough. We should really be getting ourselves into trouble. I think I can manage that. You saw it yourselves. Trouble has a way of dropping in on me. Let's take it slow and steady, though. We need to adapt to each other's fighting styles to really gel as a team. Got it. You really do! I like how his sword has a handy bottle opener in the hill as well. Elliot has joined the party, and so has Gaius. 